Welcome back to my channel. It has been a hot minute and it's been a very long time since I have posted a cleaning video. So today I am actually oh goodness, solo parenting with six children for 48 hours while my husband is away on a business trip and the morning's already been chaotic. We've had tantrums, we've had discipline issues, we've had a very stinky poopy diaper that smelled up my entire house preschool drop off, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. The big kids are doing homeschool right now. This little girl won't let me put her down. I mean, it's a real day around here. Uh, mama's attitude hasn't been the greatest. So here's to turning that around. We are going to work on finishing up school today, cleaning up this house. It is a mess. So I'm bringing you guys along on that today. Lots of cleaning motivation coming up in this video, but I figured I would pop in and out and just chat with you and keep it real around here. So if you are new around here, my name is Sarah. Welcome. I hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope that it does bring you some motivation. I am a mommy to six. Like I said, this is my youngest. She is eight months and my oldest is 11. We are also um, pandemic homeschooling, so that's going on in the background. But if you guys are new around here, I would love to have you subscribe to my channel. And with that being said, let's finish up some homeschool and get this house cleaned. Hey. Yummy. Okay. I'm gonna sing the song tones of us in love is easy Ooh, It's easy I'm gonna write my wrongs and try again No, it didn't take a long, but I'm convinced love is easy Ooh, It's easy Can't be tied down so high with you As my old world pulls out of render I'm constantly surprised by you How you think of me could try to figure it out So it's a little bit later. We just finished up homeschool. The older boys actually just got invited to go to the trampoline park. So my friend is coming to pick them up. They're gonna go play. Got the baby down for a quick little morning nap. I'm going to straighten up two rooms really quick and then it's time for preschool pickup, lunch, all those things that come with that. So we are chugging along this morning, but I feel like I've accomplished very little other than finishing homeschool, which I guess is a big accomplishment, but when your house looks like a disaster, it's not like something you can visualize and see. To me, when I feel like life's like a little bit crazy, if I could just like clean up a room, it makes me feel <laughs> a little more controlled. Um, I don't know if anybody else is like that, but homeschool is done. So check, we're almost done with the school year. Yeah. Praise hallelujah, it's almost done. And next year I am not homeschooling. They are going to public school. So we made it through a whole year, a whole year longer than I thought we would ever homeschool. Hasn't been that bad. There's been fun pieces, but I'm glad that it's almost done. Also, he's almost as tall as me. Did y'all see that? When he crosses by, he's like, at my nose. My little baby. The little boys got this new toy yesterday by Melissa and Doug. It's like one of their like little like kits, but it was a like camping kit that came with a fire and things to make s'mores. And it came with like sticks with marshmallows. Super cute. It's all over my house currently, so I'm going to clean that up and put it back together so we don't lose the pieces. 
but it was only like $25, which I felt like was a great price for Melissa and Doug, and the little boys have had so much fun with it. So I will find it and I'll link it below. It's been like great for creative play. They played inside and outside with it ever since we got it. So $25 well spent. My poor little basket wall <laughs> gets destroyed daily with these crazy boys. It's like, I swear every time I come in here, something's knocked down, but it is what it is. <laughs> I gotta just stick it back up and pray for the best. How do I say, how do I say that I can never be without you? How do I prove my love for you when I keep making all the wrong moves? I tell you that I'm sorry, but I know that they're just empty words. I'm One room is done! Yay! I doubt that it will stay like this. For very long but for my sanity i got one room complete before preschool pickup so oh yeah oh yeah laugh with me not at me <laughs> no but in all seriousness i'm very glad that this room is done um it's almost time for preschool pickup but homeschool check dishes check laundry folded check one room complete check and let me show you what's going on what's going on here these are the sticks of the Melissa and Doug toy that are supposed to be s'mores cookers, but apparently they're weapons. <laughs> In true boy fashion. To be honest and show you that my heart is yours. I love forever, try with it, die and it, through it all. Don't give up, let me go. We got two rooms done <laughs> before preschool drop off. I cannot tell you the last time I've been able to actually clean a couple rooms this early in the morning and get it done. Life has been so crazy lately. We have a ton of behind the scene things going on that I am going to fill you guys in on probably this week, maybe next week, you'll know soon, but life's been crazy. So to have two rooms clean, the baby had a morning nap, and have homeschool finished, <sighs> I can breathe a, fresh, a breath of fresh air. This is really helping the fact that I'm solo parenting. Until late tomorrow, this helps. Just got sweet girl up. Say hi. She got like a 30 minute nap in, and I didn't even want her to sleep that long because if she takes a morning nap, she does not take a good afternoon nap. But this morning, she was just so fussy that she had to have one. So we took a quick little cat nap, and hopefully she'll still sleep for me this afternoon. That's the goal. Are you gonna sleep this afternoon? Look, say hi. Say hi. <laughs> She's so cute. Hi, that's right. But we're gonna go pick up Davis from preschool now, and then come back and do lunch. I just got back from preschool pickup. Davis is already outside playing with Grant and McKinley. I sent them out to play so I can kind of do one final clean sweep of the main floor before nap time. I sent them out with some snacks and we're just gonna call that lunch. <laughs> I mean, it's like pure survival mode today. When you are solo parenting for 48 hours, it's just like, eat whatever. Here you go. I got donuts this morning. They probably had more donuts than they need, but it is what it is. They're getting their bellies full, they're gonna play outside, and I'm gonna finish cleaning.
the big kids are doing really fast. My kids are obsessed with like filling a bowl with water and random toys. And then they like break apart the ice to get the toys out. So they use like shovels, butter knives. We're totally safe around here. He's gonna kill us. Gentle with the shovel. But they get the toys out and they have like a lot of fun. You can also just use like, you know, like safer utensils. See, I, like just like metal spoons. I think water got in here and froze. It's okay. It'll but, melt. But now there's cars that have But they love doing this. My kids have done this for years. No injuries yet. She's not having me walking away. Y'all, she's so close to crawling. She army crawls now. But she's so close to actually crawling. Come here, baby girl. Hey, hey Blair. Come here. Look at her. She's like, Mommy, you're not holding me. Oh, goodness. It's okay. Show your trick. Show how you crawl. Come here. Come here. She's like, nope, come get me. But see, she's going to get up and rock. I know, it's pitiful that she's crying. But like, oh, see? Oh, she's got that one arm, but then she goes down. All's well. We've got your baby. We've got her. She, there for a while, was doing better about letting me put her down. And then, as of like the last week, she's just not letting me. I think she's trying to cut her top teeth. So, for good reason. But it makes getting cleaning done a hard job. Who is that pretty girl? See, I got snot and cracker all over my face. Oh, boink. Hi. Hi, pretty, pretty. Hi, pretty, pretty, Blair. Yeah. Okay, so I think I've located almost all of the pieces to this Melissa and Doug toy that I was telling you all about. But I don't know if I've mentioned on here, but we have been doing toy rotation boxes. I essentially, like, took all of our toys, purged them, and have almost all of them within six boxes or six big bins. So I randomly just pull out a few toys from one bin each week just to give them something new to play with. So when I get sets like this, I really like to keep all the pieces together and then put them in one of those bins. If you all are interested in a video about my toy rotation, let me know in the comments below and I'll try to make one. But I'm going to get all of this put back together um, and kind of hide it. That way it's kind of out of sight, out of mind, and I can pull it out at another time. But I was just going to show you really quick, since I told you I'm gonna link it in the description box, it comes with like these little marshmallows that even look like they're like singed on the bottom. And they just go on these little sticks, has Velcro, and they can cook over top of the fire. Super cute. And then you have fake graham crackers and fake chocolate to make a s'more. So, super fun toy. It also comes with a saw and some little logs. So I have not located the logs yet, so I need to find that. But what I do have so far, I'm gonna go ahead and put in this little baggie that it comes with. Um, that's the thing I do like about Melissa and Doug toys. They think of like storage solutions, um, which is my love language. Um, here's the little logs. So they have like Velcro, and you can use that little saw to cut them. Um, super cute. And it comes with like a little like instruction book on like how to build a campfire. Just a super fun little like creative play toy. Love it. And like I said, it all fits in this bag. Um, so it's super simple to like clean up and put away everything except for the fire base. But I'll link it below. Great toy option. I thought it was a good price for what all it includes.
it is pretty much nap time, if you can't tell by her face. She's over it. I had her in her bouncy seat and she lasted for about maybe 15 minutes and then she was done. So I was able to pretty much get the entire main floor cleaned except for mopping. Mopping was my goal. Um, I didn't deep clean the kitchen because I'm still gonna have to make dinner and things like that. So we'll just deep clean later tonight. But I did want to mop, but she's done. So duty calls. I'm gonna take her upstairs, get her nursed and laid down and then grab the little boys and have them lay down as well. They are currently outside playing in the water hose with their sister. Wasn't really expecting water play today, but it's keeping them happy. So I'm gonna get her laid down really quick. And then it's almost half time. Say yay! yay! She's like, no, I'm done. She actually has a whole hamper of laundry that needs done as well. And this basket has seen better days. It's like breaking apart as I'm grabbing it. But I'm gonna go ahead and put this outside her door. That way I can do it during nap time because I'm pretty sure she doesn't have any more pajamas left. They're all in here. I'm so behind on laundry. Really, I got no problem with any of it. They fought it like Adam, I had to get above it. I need nobody, your mention, really nothing. I see pretend there's no end of all your bluffing Ooh. On my back, don't say your name on my back I would never turn my back, easy lose your soul like that Ooh. Where you going, who you rolling, they want it But I'm glowing, and you know it Ooh. Yeah, I think I'm done, I don't need it yeah, 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 yeah. So you click, uh, yeah, and your meeting Ooh. Boy, I'm hungry so I'm in my closet putting some things away, but this weekend for Mother's Day, I actually went on like a shopping spree and my husband gave me some cash and was like, buy yourself some stuff because honestly, I've been pregnant on and off for so many years that like my wardrobe was like seriously struggling. Um, so I needed some things for summer and I actually went and bought myself some stuff and I was just going to show you while I was in here some of the things that I got. I got these adorable shoes from Walmart. They totally remind me of like the 90s, but these were like 20 bucks. I thought those were really cute. I wanted them in black also, but they did not have my size. So I bought a six in these. I'm between a six and a seven, so I would say they kind of run big, but super cute. I liked them and then I did some damage at a few different places. This I got at Burlington Coat Factory. At first I got it as like a cover up, but it's actually really cute on just as a regular dress. Um, it's from Old Navy. I really liked it. Um, let's see here. I got a few more dresses. I got this dress from Walmart. So cute. I think this was less than 15 bucks. I actually did like a try on um, slash like shop with me on Instagram the other day. So if you saw those of my stories, you can just skip through this part, but I figured I would show the vlog. Got this from Target. I like that it has the buttons all the way down because it's still easy to nurse in. That was $30. It was a little bit more of a pricey dress, but it was super cute. Um, I got this jumpsuit from Walmart. So this is a little bit out of my comfort zone, but Everybody on Instagram told me to get it and then Nick actually loves it on me. So it kind of ties in the front, has this little cutout in the back. I got a size small in it. It was less than $20 also. And then I got this cute skirt from Target. I wore this on Saturday to a party that I went to with like a sweatshirt and I loved that look. It was so cute. Um, let's see here. I also got this sweatshirt from Walmart in two different colors. I got it in this gray, and then I got it in this color. I actually ended up buying the whole lounge set of this one. If they would have had these pants in the gray in my size, I would have got those also. I did buy an extra small in the pants. They're just like a capri, kind of like roughed edge. Super cute lounge set. I'll insert a picture right here to kind of show you what it looks like on but I got the top to match. Each piece of this was like $13. It's that Secret Treasures brand. And then what else did I get? Let's see here. Got this top from Walmart. Just super simple. It ties, lightweight. 
I really just wanted some like cute stuff for summer that I can just like throw on, um, dress up or down. Let's see here. This is from Target. Um, it's kind of like a linen, like loose material. It looked cute with like jean shorts and then you could tie it or just front tuck it. Or you could even wear it as like a cover up for a bathing suit if you wanted to. Um, I got this shirt in two different colors. This is Target. Um, it is the universal thread like crew neck. So it's oversized. This is an extra small, but it has the pocket and super great shirt to just like throw on to play with the kids. I bought it in this color and in this color, $8 for these shirts. Um, and then I also bought this kind of like oversized, like crappie tank from Target. Aside from that, I got like some, um, just like play clothes and some sports bras and things like that. Just like simple, like athletic clothes that I can throw on to go to the park with the kids from Walmart. Because honestly, you cannot beat Walmart's prices when it comes to their athletic clothes. And then I got, let's see here. I got this hat from Walmart to shade my face this summer. Um, I'm getting like terrible dark spots. I'm trying a few skincare products right now, so I'll let you know if they help. But I don't know if it's still like a little bit of melasma left over from like breastfeeding and pregnancy hormones or what's going on. I'm seeing the dermatologist next week, but I need to shade my face and wear sunscreen. So I also got this cute little just like ball cap from Walmart. These are like $4 just to throw on. If like the kids and I are going to a park, I'm not a huge hat person. I don't really feel like I look right in hats, but I need to shade my face. So can't get Botox yet because I'm breastfeeding, but one day soon I will. And then I got this bathing suit um, from Walmart. This is a great like mom suit. It looked really cute on. Um, it has like a cutout in the back, but the different like angles of the stripes, like really, I feel like it was kind of flattering and it held all the goods in, but it was still a cute suit. So I got that. I got interrupted by children, but I also grabbed this basic cover up. It's just black, has a little hood for pools. We're gonna be at the pool or some form of water all summer. So it was time to invest in some of that. I feel like there's a few more things I got, but I don't really know where they're at right now. But I did order a bunch of bathing suits off Sheen and those are supposed to come in this coming week. So I'll give you my honest review on them. Um, but quiet time's pretty much ending now. Um, Paxton's back and kind of that crazy mom where sometimes it's easier for me to let my kids have friends over even when Nick's gone. So I let McKinley have a friend over and I let Paxton have a friend over and Caleb actually went to his friend's house. So I now have, let's see here, seven kids at my house. Um, but I think it's easier when they have somebody over to play with. So as soon as the baby wakes up, we're going to go to a park. Um, but I'm going to kind of just finish straightening up my master bedroom, putting some clothes away, and then we'll get ready, go to the park, come home, do spaghetti, and I think we'll call it done for the day after that. So it's much later now. The night got away with me. We went to a park, and we weren't going to stay very long, but then our friends ended up joining us. And the kids like had a bunch of fun with like random kids at the park. They were all playing tag. And it's currently 7.38. I'm just now starting dinner. Haven't fed anybody. McKinley's holding the baby for me right now while I cook because it's past her bedtime. <laughs> but I'm trying to get dinner together really, really fast. So I'm doing spaghetti, bag seeds or salad, some bread, and calling it done. Um, and I didn't have any of the garlic bread that my kids love. So I'm using hamburger buns. I'm gonna put some butter and some garlic salt, broil them up, and it is what it is. But I've gotta get these kids fed because it's so late. The little boys are in bed by 7.30, like almost every night, and it's 7.40 right now. And they haven't eaten dinner, so mom wins. I know you're the one for me While the world's fleeing You're all I need No, there's nothing you could do To lose my love Even on bad days 
confession though, spaghetti is one of my least favorite foods of all time, so I will not be eating spaghetti tonight. I will probably order some carry out in through Uber Eats or DoorDash or something. Because I feel like once you've like been a single mom all day and you're gonna be a single mom all day tomorrow, you deserve some carry out. But I'll feed the kids spaghetti because it's cheap and quick and everybody likes it. So it's obviously much later now. I went ahead and finished up dinner with the kids. I ordered some carry out for myself, ate that, took a bath. The kids are watching a movie, getting ready to fall asleep. They have their friends over, so I let them finish the night with a movie. And I realized that I never finished this video. So I just wanted to take a moment and say thank you so much for watching. If you are new to my channel, I would love to have you subscribe. Like I said, we have some big news coming up, some major behind the scenes things happening for our family. And I'm super excited to share that with you and bring you along on that process. So I would love to have you subscribe. That way you do not miss any of that. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that this video was motivating to you all and I hope that you enjoyed spending this solo day with me. We survived, hallelujah. It's time for bed. I'll see you guys on the next one.